Hey guys, what's up Virgo? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. Your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading. That information's below as well. All right. Ooh. Damn, why are you pissed off? Somebody's pissed off down there, but we have the Eight of Cups. So it's interesting because this is, this is, it could be somebody that's new or just like an overflowing amount of love. Then we go to the Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords, which is, um, and not exactly the type of energy that's just going to open up and accept love. All right. So immediate future. What's the word for the birds? Thank you. All right. So we got the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Swords. Interesting. All right. So a couple of ways this is going. Remember, it's a general reading. So uh, just take what yours. Be careful what you wish for. You could have an Aquarius, some type of air sign coming towards you. Communication is coming in. But we also have kind of um, maybe somebody who's like obsessive or this could be somebody who goes to the situation as well. And it was really hard to get over it. Show me this Queen of Wands. Um, the Five of Wands. Damn. The Five of Swords, the Eight of Wands. Look, this... Oh, okay, there's a couple of ways this is going. Because for some, we have two female or two feminine energies here. Somebody over here, may there may be some type of argumentative communication. Like, this is kind of anger here. And it comes through, like, some type of messages, some type of communication. You, though, on the other hand... um. Could be dealing with the air sign or fire sign. It doesn't have to be. You could have multiple people competing for you. The Queen of Wands does. However, at the same time, it depends on your situation. The Queen of Wands can kind of be like the mistress of the deck or like the other, you know, side of things. Show me this Ace of Cups. So a couple of ways, like I said, you could have um, multiple people trying to compete for you. Actually, somebody here who might would, you know, like physically fight for you. Somebody there's also could just be that there's some type of angry communication. But in which case, it feels like there would be more jealousy because this might be somebody that you've been ignoring or something like that. But there's also that hint of obsession that's coming through. Um, and for others, you know, it's possible that there's just some angry messages. Show me this Ace of Cups for Virgo, please. Because this is new love. So you could have found somebody or be meeting someone like completely brand new. The Ace of Cups also has to do... Yeah, I mean, you got somebody kind of sneaky around you. It does look like they're spying, but also be mindful of third-party situations. Gemini energy. Show me that Seven of Swords. Because this Queen of Swords that we're ending with is a no bullshit energy. Show me. But we also kind of have somebody, like I said, that could be um, spying here as well. Show me that Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a sneaky energy. You have both lying cards out here. The Knight of Cups could be a younger water sign. Something could have ended with this person in a third party in the background. This King of Wands. For some, yeah, there's a married man here. It doesn't have to be. But for some, wow, this is going so crazy. Um, there's something kind of being like reinvented, actually. And it may come in the form of a fucking proposal. This could be somebody who, with the King of Wands, um, could be another, or could be a, you know, like I said, a married man. This could be a, um, a fire sign. But this also could be someone who, like, at times is, like, extremely temperamental, maybe even abusive in some situations. 
But I'm done. The Knight of Cups, the Four of Wands, this Ace of Cups. They could be coming to repose. This is like definitely a let's take things to a higher level of commitment though. Show me this Queen of Swords for the outcome. So the Queen of Swords, like I said, is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, but it doesn't have to be. It's the energy around this. The Queen of Swords is kind of, you know, kind of looks like almost pissed off right here. And I don't know, I think this might be argumentatively like one of the most badass energies of the deck, like not to be messed with. But with that Ace of Swords, the Queen of Swords swings that sword and cuts out with no longer serving her. Or, you know, don't get caught up in energies, but, I mean, in gender. Definitely. Um, show me this Ace of Swords. Something may end up getting revealed here. Yeah, the Three of Swords. Somebody, wow, this is extremely specific. Somebody may um, actually end up revealing something. And then this energy over here, the Queen of Swords, this Ace of Swords, the Three of Swords becomes very protective of heart, self, very independent, may carry some anger. Yowzas. This is in your reading, don't take it, but this is something that, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles, somebody goes on to focus on self. Uh, I didn't. Like, um, that's actually an intimidating energy over here. <clears throat> the chariot cancer energy. I mean, something here definitely regains some type of control around self and on a personal level. Um, oh, shit. Okay. The six of pentacles. I think you're looking for some type of balance here. This is extremely specific, and it may get to the point where, you know, somebody actually reveals something on one side in order to kind of hurt someone's feelings. This kind of feels like there's a strong masculine energy in the middle of it all with this King of Wands. Um, like I said, this could either come in the form of communication, like somebody's angry, or... Um, you could have multiple people that is competing for you, but then we have like this this proposal, this this yeah, something around emotions going to like a whole nother level here. In which case, you know, there could be a married man, it could also be a married female. But one side goes to focus on self love. I mean, either way for the outcome. Um you know, a lot of self-structure and independence is kind of taken on there. It almost feels like this this may happen pretty quickly. All right, Virgo, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.